Hi, thanks for connecting to thatcable.com. We're always here to help. Today we're going to show you how to solder some speaker cable back together, for instance if you've snagged it with a drill or something in your house, and how to use heat shrink properly. This process can be used with any cable, obviously with speaker cable, uh, you need to make sure you join the positive core, so as you see this cable has got a white strip running down it, so we'll, we'll join the white strip to the white strip there, so you don't uh, change the polarity when you do it. Obviously we need to get the heat shrink on first and then solder, and then pull the heat shrink back over, so we're just going to cut a little bit of heat shrink that will cover the joint nicely. And now we can begin to solder these two cores together. So now we're going to apply the soldering iron gently to the upper part and then apply some heat so it's on it there gently. If you put the solder onto it, it will just should just run down the speaker cable gradually and as the heat goes through it will go onto all the cores so you get a nice joint there between all the cores. So it shouldn't affect your sound quality if you've got a decent pair of speakers. Now, as you can see, we've pulled the heat shrink over the joint. Some heat shrink, especially some of the larger diameter heat shrink, will have adhesive on the inside. So it will really seal the joint and hold it um, so it keeps it rigid. And it, Some will be have flammability rates in some will basically be waterproof and all sorts but this is just standard heat shrink it has a two to one ratio when it shrinks down so we're now just going to show you what happens when we put heat underneath the the, the heat shrink some people uh, more professional would use a heat gun like this basically it takes a standard lighter this one so it's quite a popular one in our range you can just simply put the lighter in there and use it a lot of people won't have that so a workaround, which still works absolutely fine, is you just get the lighter, light it up like that, and move it up and down the heat shrink as you go, turning the heat shrink round, and you can just see it as it gets tighter. You just got to be very careful when you're doing this, though, not to burn any of the heat shrink. See, I've slightly burnt it there, which isn't good, but as long as the majority of it shrinks around the joint, you get quite a solid connection there. Um, we can just do the same with the other one now. As you can see we've now heated up uh, the heat shrink on both sides. So it's got quite a bit of the insulation, it's around quite a bit of the insulation as well as the main joint on both of them. So you see there it goes in more than the, the insulation so it's quite a tight joint that it's very very strong, it's not going anywhere. So it can be relied upon when it's put back but as an extra precaution we'll now put an extra layer of heat shrink over both the cores to keep them together and to really make it strong. You can see now we're going to apply a larger layer to go over both of them. You just simply put it over there so now where the goes to where the cable split we can just simply get the lighter again. Although this way isn't recommended by the manufacturer it still does the trick and it shrinks the heat shrink down. It'll just take a while because it's obviously a bigger and thicker piece of heat shrink. We can see it gradually going now. The lighter keeps on. And there we go. That's uh, There we have it. Repaired speaker cable. As I say it can be used for most cables so use it for telephone cable, whatever you really want to use it for, as long as it you get a good connection, you really heat it up afterwards, it's, it works. We want to know what confuses you in the world of audio and video. Leave a comment below with what you need help with and we will do our best to make a video for you. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.